world-renowned surfer Sean Thompson is an extremely successful entrepreneur turned motivational speaker who has faced triumph and tragedy. He was born in South Africa and was part of a very small group of Jewish surfers. He was born in 1955 in Durban, South Africa and grew up during the apartheid. He didn't see much diversity and there weren't very many Jews surfing. But at age nine, he stood up on a board for the very first time. That first moment when I got up on a board, it was just a wonderful, wonderful sensation. And you just see everything differently. You see the world differently. You're in this different place and you're riding this band of energy. It was the same stretch of ocean that ended his father's competitive swimming career, just when he was destined to go to the Olympics. He was attacked by a shark that nearly ripped his arm off, it nearly killed him, and that destroyed his swimming career. His father was never bitter, and in that same area, he taught Thompson how to surf. Thanks to family and the Jewish faith, Thompson was given opportunities most young boys from Durban, South Africa, could only dream of. For my bar mitzvah, Instead of, uh, you know, the normal gift was like a sheaf of stock certificates or money or whatever, he said, I'm taking you to Hawaii. <laughs> that is where he got really good. He soon began competing, but like all men in South Africa, he had to serve in the army for a year. It would be the only time he ever experienced anti-Semitism. We totally stood up for ourselves, and if that meant getting into a fight, man, we got into a fight. Um, and uh, I think that just came from the upbringing that I'd had and seeing the results of, that, of the terrible Holocaust. Soon, Thompson was focusing wholeheartedly on surfing, but in Hawaii, he experienced a different type of discrimination because he wasn't native to the island. Threatened me and told me they were going to kill me and that there was a contract out on me and I better leave the island. and. You know, I had to ultimately go and buy a 12-gauge shotgun, a Remington 12-gauge. Instead of being driven off the island, he once again stood up for himself, peacefully, and prevailed. He then became part of a group that helped revolutionize surfing. The movie Busting Down the Door documented that part of his life and captured those breathtaking moments riding through the tube of a massive wave. I won 19 major professional events. I won the world title in 1977. I won the Pipeline Masters, which was still recognized as, as maybe the greatest event in the world. While at the height of his career, on top and unstoppable, he retired, but he wasn't finished with success. Like as a Jew, you just have this entrepreneurial spirit. He began a clothing line in the spirit of surfing. Although it struggled after 9-11, he took the lessons he learned from the ocean and persisted, eventually selling it in another clothing line for millions of dollars. He began writing books and came up with the surfer's code. Everything was going so well, but then the unbearable. His only child, Matthew, had been struggling at his California school, so the family decided to spend a semester in Durban, South Africa. Thompson was planning to join them in 10 days' time. While at the beach that brought them so close together, he received a phone call from his wife. Carla phoned me and told me Matthew was dead. I mean, like, when I say out of the blue, he's playing this game that sometimes kids play called the choking game, it was like, just like your life was like that. Matthew was just 15 years old. Thompson and his son had an unbelievable bond. This was their favorite beach, a Native American site with a message that could have been written just for he and Matthew. It's a message about life and family. A reflection, I think, of Judaism as well, that connection to the land, connection to the ancestors, connection to the children. Although his faith was tested, it seemed Matthew was trying to remind him of that message, especially when Thompson and his wife decided to adopt. The baby came early. Three weeks premature. Um, and we said, no, nah, that's, that's no problem. Like, what was the original birth date? 25th of September, Matthew's birth date. We went, Carla said, this is our baby. This is our baby, born, supposed to be born on Matthew's birthday. This is our baby. This is a sign from God. Luke is three years old now and already showing an interest in the ocean. He loves the ocean. He loves the water. He just wants to run 
into the water every time he sees it. Thompson is still known as one of the world's greatest surfers and has even been inducted into the International Jewish Sports Hall of Fame. Thompson is forging ahead with new projects, including two books, the first of which will be published next year. He has many smartphone applications and a brand new clothing line just for kids in South Africa. I'm Lindsay Mastis for JN1 in Santa Barbara, California.